Hello, and welcome to another presentation of 5 Minutes Cybersecurity. Phishing is a type of cybercrime whereby criminals send spam messages containing malicious links designed to get targets to either download malware or follow links to spoof websites. These messages were traditionally emails, but have since evolved to include texts, social media, and phone calls. In addition to the trends, I will be providing tips on how to recognize and avoid phishing scams. Hi, I'm Bill Osolinski, a certified information system security professional with 30 years of experience. In the third quarter of 2023, phishing volumes increased by 173% compared to the previous quarter. There was a 1,265% increase in malicious phishing messages since the fourth quarter of 2022. There was a 967% increase in credential phishing. An average of 1.4 million phishing sites are created every month. On average, 31,000 phishing attacks are sent on a daily basis. A phishing attack occurs every 11 seconds. Education was the most targeted industry in 2022, with attacks increasing by 576%. Microsoft brands, including OneDrive and SharePoint, are targeted the most. Greatness is a phishing tool that has been used to obtain credentials and cookies to access Microsoft 365 accounts. The use of stolen credentials is the most common cause of data breaches. Google blocks around 100 million phishing emails daily. Business email compromise detections rose to, to 383,928 in 2022, a growth of 35%. The most successful phishing emails are carefully constructed to look identical to messages received by well-known companies or senders. These messages are often difficult to distinguish from real emails. Keep an eye out for these red flags when scanning your inbox for phishing scams. Attractive, too good to be true offers. If an email is promising you something too good to be true, it probably is. These attractive offers are designed to immediately grab your attention and distract you from other details within the message. If you are offered a large sum of money, a new phone, vacation, car, or other prizes, verify the sender or just ignore the message. A false sense of urgency. If an email demands that you act quickly or presents a limited time opportunity, the failure to claim will result in a severe negative action, take your time to read and understand the message. A reputable organization including government entities, will not contact you via email threatening a consequence if you do not comply with the message guidelines. Call the sender's business directly to discuss the email message using a verifiable phone number. Never reply to these emails or use the contact information within the message. Fake hyperlinks. If an email looks suspicious, ensure that any websites or links provided are going to a safe website or skip clicking on email links completely and visit the entity's website you are familiar with. A common tactic used by phishing scammers is link manipulation, where a malicious hyperlink is inserted to look like it belongs to the organization sending the email. Often these fake URLs will be misspelled to deceive you. Other times, the fake link will be disguised as a text box asking you to click here. Make sure to hover over the text box to view the actual web address. And corrupt attachments. If you received an attachment from a questionable email, do not open it without first confirming the contents with the sender. Similar to hyperlinks, attachments in phishing emails usually contain malicious viruses or ransomware. While scam tactics and technology are always updating, there are some simple proactive steps you can take to stay safe from phishing. Consider these steps to help you spot phishing attempts. Number one, add spam filters to your email. Number two, never email personal or financial information without proper security protocols. 
Number three, do not respond to messages seeking personal information via email. Number four, call the sender directly to verify if a message you receive is legitimate. And number five, check that the website you are visiting is secure. Look for a lock icon or an address that begins with the letters HTTPS, indicating that the site is secure. That's all for this presentation. If you found this information helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching.